In 2012 and 2013, the Northern Agricultural Catchments Council conducted a series of estuary workshops with the objectives of recording estuary attributes that local communities most value and identifying some of the threats to those values. These workshops were intended to highlight some of the management issues facing our estuaries. Estuaries are defined as a semi-enclosed body of water where fresh water and salt water mix. The Northern Agricultural Region contains nine estuaries, five of which are relatively large systems. From north to south, these are the Murchison, Hutt, Bowes, Buller, Chapman, Greniff, Irwin, Hill, and more river estuaries. All of these estuaries are classified as wave dominated systems, which means that large ocean swells tend to deposit sediment at their mouths, blocking them off and so thereby restricting water exchange between the estuary and the sea. All bar one of these estuaries are isolated from the sea except for when it rains heavily enough for the rivers to start flowing and break through the sandbar to the sea. The exception is the Murchison estuary which is permanently open to the sea as a result of regular dredging to stop the accumulation of sand at the mouth. Coastal towns are often located at estuary mouths as they're picturesque popular sites for recreation and when open to the sea are convenient boat harbours. The five largest estuaries in the Northern Agricultural Region all have townships located at their mouths. A range of recreational activities are carried out on and around these water bodies such as boating, fishing and use of off-road vehicles and often require some level of management to prevent adverse effects on the estuary. Local residents often identify strongly with the beauty and the natural setting of their local environment. Estuaries are fed by surface water flow from rivers and streams. In the Northern Agricultural Region, estuaries are also fed by a significant inflow of groundwater supplies. Surface water is collected from discrete catchment areas which are defined as the entire land area over which rainfall is collected by the natural landscape and directed into the estuary through rivers and streams. This map shows the catchments of the five Northern Agricultural Region estuaries that were investigated by NAC. The Murchison, the Greniff, the Irwin, the Hill, and Moore River Estuary. Land use in the catchment area of an estuary can greatly affect the quality of the water that ends up flowing to that estuary. When land within the catchment is cleared, surface water runoff from rainfall is increased as there's no vegetation and leaf litter to slow the water down. This increased runoff takes with it soil particles that settle in the estuary, making it more shallow and increasing turbidity. This process is known as sedimentation. Clearing vegetation in the catchment also causes the groundwater table to rise, increasing the rate of groundwater flow into the estuary. This table shows the percentage of native vegetation clearance that has occurred in each estuary catchment. When catchments are cleared for cropping, Excess fertilisers can be carried by both surface water runoff and groundwater flow to the estuary, causing a build-up of nutrients known as eutrophication. This can upset the ecological balance of the estuary by increasing the growth of algae, and in extreme cases can cause harmful algal blooms. When this algae dies, it's broken down by bacteria, which in turn depletes the surrounding water of dissolved oxygen, causing fish kills. Plant communities growing on the banks of adjoining watercourses are collectively referred to as riparian vegetation and are a vital component of estuary ecosystems. 
riparian vegetation traps sediment, pollutants and nutrients, preventing them from entering the watercourse, binds soils on the banks reducing erosion, and provides habitat for a diverse range of plants and animals. Maintaining healthy riparian vegetation belts along watercourses that feed into estuaries and along the estuary itself is one method of maintaining a healthy ecosystem. During the estuary workshops, participants were asked to list the attributes of their local estuary that they value most. This table lists the values attributed to each of the five Northern Agricultural Region estuaries that were included in this project. Water sports, bird watching, aesthetics and Aboriginal cultural and heritage were attributes valued in all five estuaries. Recreational fishing and tourism were also highlighted as important values in the larger estuaries of the Murchison and Moore rivers. The Hill River estuary had special ecological significance due to its relatively pristine condition. At each workshop, attendees were asked to rank the top three management issues that they would like to see addressed for their local estuary. The results were combined to create a ranked list of management concerns for each estuary. For the Murchison River Estuary, workshop participants clearly ranked the control of off-road vehicles as a priority, followed by the management of riparian vegetation by excluding stock, controlling weeds and increasing revegetation efforts. Effective catchment management to reduce sedimentation and the reduction of bank erosion were also considered important. Workshop attendees ranked the improvement of water quality as the highest priority for the Greneff River estuary. Management of riparian vegetation and control of off-road vehicles and other recreational activities were also highlighted. Managing riparian vegetation to reduce sedimentation and improve water quality were ranked highly amongst the local community of the Irwin River Estuary. Reducing pedestrian impacts and controlling off-road vehicles were also included as management concerns. The Hill River Estuary is the least urbanised of these estuaries and as such the community showed concern regarding illegal camping and threats from the use of off-road vehicles and increased semi-rural development around the estuary. Managing riparian vegetation and improving water quality through effective catchment management were also considered to be important. Finally, as Perth suburbs continue to extend northwards along the coast, residents living around the Moor River estuary ranked urban development uppermost. Managing riparian vegetation was ranked second, followed by policing of recreational boat activity, which was also a result of this estuary being in close proximity to Perth. Increased research and education was included in the list of management priorities. These workshops have gathered valuable information for future management of estuaries in the Northern Agricultural Region. This information may be used in one of two ways. Firstly, management concerns that ranked highly for a majority of estuaries could be targeted in a regional management strategy. For example, an issue common to all is the need for control of off-road vehicles to reduce pressure on our estuary systems. Secondly, these results are useful for guiding management strategies for individual estuary systems. For example, managing the recreational boat activity is desirable in the Moore River estuary. There's no doubt that the Northern Agricultural Region contains some truly beautiful estuaries that are valued by locals and visitors alike, and we can all help to keep it that way.